the last two days. I've been really tough. <laughs> it's very sandy and gravelly. I was going uphill for the past two, three days as well. Pulling this thing through the sand is It's like pulling a concrete block from hell with the heat on you. With the heat on you and with with this thing just not moving unless you give it your all. You know, you've really got it. You oh, give it some. To pull it over any any rocks or, or through the sand, you know, the wheels may as well be stationary. <laughs> Beautiful country though. I am loving it. You know, after the after the really hard days, the tough days, the times when you when you're walking, thinking, ah, oh, how long does this sandy path go on for? You know, I've been walking on it for three days. You know, those times will pass, and if you can ride through those times, ah, oh, it's just so heavenly. Heavenly, that's the word. Mentally and physically. I'm good. I'm good. You know, there's some lonely times. But I think deep down I've kind of mentally prepared for this. You know, I didn't I didn't think I'd be able to, you know, when people would ask me, you know, how are you how are you preparing for the mental tasks you're gonna have when you're walking through Mongolia? And I always replied, Well, there's no way to prepare. But if you look at the worst case scenario throughout if you think like you know if you expect to get attacked by wolves if you you know expect to get hit by a car or be in the worst sandstorm and snow blizzard there is you know when those times don't come because you you've been expecting it and you've ex been expecting those times where you'll just burst out in tears you know all of these Obstacles that have been lying in my brain thinking, you know, that that's what's going to happen throughout Mongolia You know, yeah, I've been blasted by a snow blizzard and a sandstorm and I've been told that I'm going to be eaten alive by the wolves by the locals but um, Each Obstacle you get through you just I know I Yeah, I'm, I've mentally prepared for it. I, I expected it. So what can I say? I expected those those things to happen and when they don't happen I know I can't talk just yet because I'm only just over two weeks through but when they don't happen you kind of you know you, you, you find yourself enjoying it like I didn't think I'd be enjoying it this much I thought there'd be difficult times um, stressful times there's times thinking what the hell am I doing this for but no not once you know I've enjoyed it I've been soaking it up and they've not happened because I prepared. I told myself that those will happen. So I was expecting it. So I'm expecting one day to just break down, you know, and I've, I've not broke down yet. So I'm running on now because I've not spoken to anyone in ages. <laughs> but it's all a part of the challenge. And I've just got to learn to enjoy it, take it on. Soak up the experience. Mongolia won't break me.